All right. Well, I know there are some women who you think are impeccable dressers. Kate Blanchett happens oh, to be one of them. I we have a picture absolutely. of her. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, why is this outfit so great? You, you know, What's the, so great about that? There's something about Kate and and I, I believe in the semiotics of clothes. The clothes we wear send a message about how the world perceives us. And I actually had the wonderful opportunity of asking her, asking her, how is it that you're a risk taker? You do take chances, yet you always get it right. And she said to me, I only listen to my own voice. I don't listen to what people around me are saying. But that's what I'm doing with the jacket, and you didn't think that worked. We're gonna get there. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, for Kate, it's fine, but for me... So, we have also Charlize Theron, who she oh. got a, a lot of uh, comments about her dress at the Oscars. Some people loved it. Did you love it? It was my least favorite. If you're going to show that much skin in the back, you don't do it in the front. It becomes not sexy and alluring, it becomes vulgar. Is that what you felt about the dress? I felt, it was... thought it was vulgar. Wow, okay. And in fact, I felt so bad for um, Emily Blunt, who presented with Charlize, because Emily Blunt is a stunning woman wearing a gorgeous dress. She looked like this little waif next to the wicked city woman. <laughs> It was very <laughs> off-putting, I thought, and everyone looked uncomfortable. See, just when you say this kind of thing to celebrities, do they get mad, or is it part of them that actually appreciates the fact that you're you're telling well, them? Well, mm. I've had uh, a few people actually approach me on the red carpet and say, "I know you hate how I dress," um, but in each case, I believe that that they have, I mean, certainly gotten better.